And tonight we continue to cover one of the biggest political decisions in decades to impact voters right here in Westchester. You're going to hear from council members on why they voted the way they did and some residents are sharing their thoughts tonight. News 12's Jonathan Gordon is outside Yonkers City Hall with that and more. Even though he's hinted at it, moments after the vote, Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano sent out a statement indicating that he is ready to go for a fourth term. Yonkers Mayor Mike Spano said his future will be in the voters' hands, speaking to us before the vote. So there is term limits. The question is, uh, do you limit people's choices in that election by taking someone out of it or not? Ultimately, the 4-3 to three vote went his way, but not before residents continued the intense comments we'd heard for two weeks. Passing an arbitrary restriction on term limits at a municipal level actually limits our voter choice by forcing us to do away with elected officials that have done a stellar job. Because your job is to represent us who put you there. A bipartisan group of council members, including Republican Mike Breen and Democrats Lakeisha Collins Bellamy, Tasha Diaz, and John Rubo, backed extending term limits. It's about making sure you deliver for your district. Republican Anthony Morante and Democrats Corazon Pineda Isaac and Sinead Williams voted no. We did it in 2018. Now we're doing it in 2022. I believe that four years from now, the proposal is going to come before us again. A referendum to roll term limits back to three is likely to get to petition next year, but not before Spano gets his shot at a fourth term. And here's something to watch if Mayor Spano decides to run again. The last time, four years ago, the council did this exact same thing. He won 75% of the vote. In Yonkers, Jonathan Gordon, News 12.